Hello, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amanda, and we're on my island called Ofoloto. Today's build is going to be a step-by-step -step of a beachside soccer field that I built on stream. My island is mainly a city core island, but this is situated near resident services in between my rock garden and a park, so everything is able to flow. Without further ado, let's get into the build. To begin, I set aside a plot of land 7 spaces long and 9 spaces wide by digging along the perimeter. The area I am digging out will later be filled with items, but this was to help me visualize the size of the original field. Once complete, I then filled the inside of that box with a light dirt path to act as the base of the soccer field. I then found custom designs for the markings on the soccer field. On rows 2 and 7, I put down the horizontal custom line design. The custom design is shown on screen and can be found in the description of the video as well. Down column 5, I placed the vertical custom line design by the same creator. To line the back of the field, I planted 5 hardwood trees along the back perimeter, alternating between fully grown and stage 3 trees. To keep the smaller trees permanently, I planted a piece of fruit next to both of the stage 3 trees to stunt the growth of them. This can be done with any fruit in the game besides the coconut. To separate the trees and the contents of the field, I customized 9 white simple panels with a chain link fence design and placed them along the tree line. This chain link fence design is shown on screen and can be found in the description of the video. In the space between the fence and the beginning of the field, I placed items such as a garbage can, snack machine, lecture hall bench, and radio. The complete list of items I used is on screen. To begin the framing of the right side of the field, I began by placing a wind turbine, a cedar tree, and a hay bed. I then added a yellow mum and a white hyacinth. To begin the framing on the left side, I started with the rows in the first empty space. I then added a stage 3 cedar in row 2 and added a fruit sapling behind it to stunt the growth. I added to the framing of the left side with a green mum, yellow lily, bench, stone stool, and floating biotope planter. The bench and stone stool take up three spaces and I had set aside four spaces for the left side, so I left half a space on each side of the furniture in between the flowers. In order to finish the framing on the right side, I added a tire toy, stage 3 hardwood tree, garden rock, bushes, a pink tulip, and a drinking fountain to the right side of the field. I topped that off with a bicycle and a garden lantern.
Since my soccer field was situated next to the beach, I filled the green space in between the field and the sand with a custom sewn path that worked well with the space. This custom design is shown on screen and can be found in the description box below. I then framed the front side of the field with iron fencing. I felt like the immediate transition from the custom design to the field didn't feel right, and I liked the style and color of this fence the most. To add some greenery to the field, I added a cypress plant by one of the goals. In front of the field, I added a few items including a drink machine and a water cooler so that villagers can grab refreshments as they play. As soon as I added these items, three of my villagers decided to play on the field, which I thought was adorable. I then added the soccer ball and the build was completely finished. Thanks for watching the video! If you would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing. I stream daily on Twitch, so consider checking me out there if you would like to see my content live sometime. After being incredibly busy, I am back on my YouTube grind and I plan to upload videos weekly. Thanks again for hanging out, and see you guys in the next one!